So this is what happens when you get your invitations back from the printer. They typically show up in some sort of a box. We're going to open this up and take out your paper. So in this stack I've got invitations, I've got RSVP cards, and I have information cards. And you're going to want to cut these first and then we'll start assembling and gluing everything together. So when you get your invitations back from the printer, they are going to be ready for you to cut. You can choose to have the printer just cut them for you or you can cut them at home. I use this handy little swing line guillotine cutter. You can pick one up at your local, um, your, your local office supply store or even someplace like Walmart. Um, every single invitation is going to have crop marks on it. The crop marks are the lines where you want to cut. So basically the crop marks on this, I never put crop marks on the actual invitation itself. So your crop marks are always going to be facing away from the invitation. So you can see here that this corner right here is actually the corner of the invitation. If you cut above this or on this side, you're not gonna be cutting into your invitations. It's a safe, it's a safe zone. <laughs> so we're gonna start by cutting on the long side. And when you cut on the long side, you're using the line that's horizontal on this side. So I'm gonna line it up with my crop marks and I'm gonna make a cut. So you can see when I made that cut, it's definitely okay that I cut just on the inside of the crop marks. That's not going to um, affect your invitation size very much and it's built that way. Then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to cut the other direction on the crop marks as well. And keep in mind this invitation was built to go onto a backing. Now your whole invitation itself is going to be about a five inch by seven inch size. In order to put this on top of a backing, this is actually just under five by seven so that you can still see the backing on the outline of the invitation. These invitations, I tried to set them up as, as simple as possible. So basically what you're going to do is go just under five inches and make your cut. This should be balanced. Um, it's going to be centered on the paper when you make a cut and it's just under five by seven. That way, when you add your backing to it, like I said, you're going to be able to All see right, Now I'm going to show you how to cut your information cards. They are going to be a four by six size instead of a five by seven size. So we're going to cut them a little bit smaller than what we just did for the invitations themselves. We made it a little bit easier on these so that you can see the crop mark when you get close to the blade. So what I've done is moved that crop mark to cut along this long edge and lined it right up with the blade and made my first cut. Then I'm going to turn it around, line it up with the six inches here and make my next cut. You can still see a small little crop mark in the corner and usually that's right at about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to make another cut and then I'm going to line it up the last cut with the four inches here which ends up four inches by six inches. If these end up a little bit larger or a little bit smaller it's not that big of a deal. You really just want them to be smaller than five inches by seven inches. So um, this is a great size to go along with that larger piece that I'm going to show you how to cut is your RSVP card. There are formatted four RSVP cards per sheet of paper as opposed to your invitation and information cards which have two per page. The most important thing to keep in mind when you're cutting is actually this top edge. You want your piece of paper to be snug up against that top edge and flat. I don't ever worry about what's happening down in these corners as long as that top edge is very flat. So I'm going to look at this top crop mark here and I do these just visually anymore. Um, you can see when you start cutting on the blade that I am right on that crop mark. So I'm going to make sure it's flush up against the top and make that first cut. And I'm going to do this all the way around. As long as we get those outside edges, we know that the dimensions are supposed to be, let's see here, the dimensions are supposed to be three and a half by five for RSVP cards. And that's important because they do need to fit into the three and a half by five inch envelope. So what I'm going to do here, I know they need to be five inches this way. So I'm going to line this up with the five inches and I'm going to make my cut. Now I know that this needs to be three and a half inches wide. 
So I'm going to line it up with three and a half inches on my cutter and make my cut. And now you'll have RSVP cards that are centered into the middle of the page. So now I'm going to show you how to cut the backing for your invitation. The backing itself needs to be a five by seven so that it fits into your envelope. When you're looking at your paper cutter, the measurements are all on a ruler along the top and you're going to look for the seven inch right here. I'm going to line up the paper with the seven inch so that my long side is right up against the seven inch and I'm going to make my first cut. Then I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to cut two sections at five inches. That way you get two invitation backings per eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. It's the best way to utilize this to get the most out of the paper size. So I'm going to line up the invitation here at the five inches and I'm going to make another cut. That way when you lay your invitation on top of it, you've got a perfect little border, eighth inch border around the outside.